Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this tab for your website. So this is how it works. We have this active tab over here. We can see that it has a different color. And when we click on the next tab, we can see that the content of the next tab is displayed over here. And in the same way, we can access the third tab as well. So whenever we click on any tab, it gets activated and it has this different color. And we also have this animation when we have different content from the tabs. So first of all, we'll just design it and then I'll show you how to make it work using JavaScript. So let's get started. I have opened a blank project in VS Code and uh, this is just a folder called tabs. So let's go ahead and create a new file and I will just name it index.html and we'll create one more file called style.css and we need to create a JavaScript file also but uh, we'll do that later. So first of all let's go ahead and uh, let's write some basic HTML code. So we can just type exclamation and press tab. With this shortcut we can have some basic HTML5 code. Alright first of all let's uh, link our style.css file. So we'll type link style.css and in the body we'll start by creating a division called tabs container and in that we'll have a division for all the tab headings. So we'll have a division with the class of tab headings container and let's add a heading over here and we'll just add an h2 and we'll also give it a class of tab heading and the first one is WordPress. Let me just open this in the browser to see how it looks. So I right click over here and click on open with live server. If you don't have this option then you have to install an extension called live server on VS Code. Then you'll get this option. So here we can see this is how our page looks right now. Let's copy this heading and uh, we'll paste it two more times. So we have blogger and Wix. Alright, that's it with the tab headings. Now let's go ahead and create a division for the panels, which is the content. So we'll create a division with the class of panels container. And in that we'll create a division with the class of panel. And in that we'll have an H2. And we'll just type WordPress. And then we'll have some paragraph. So we'll just copy these text from here. We'll have different p tags for different paragraphs. And then we also have a button called learn more. So after all the paragraphs we'll have an anchor tag and uh, we'll type learn more over here. Alright that's it with the first panel. Now let's copy this and uh, we'll create two more panels. So we have two more panels. Let's change the content. The second one is blogger and we just have two paragraphs in that. And the third one is Wix. And that's basically it with the markup of our design. So let's go to style.css and let's add some CSS. So we'll type body and for the body we will have a font family of Roboto. And then we'll target the tabs container and uh, we'll give it a padding of 16 pixels and a max width of 600 pixels. We'll also center it horizontally so for that we'll type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. So now if we maximize this we can see that it is displayed in the center. Now let's target the tab headings container. And uh, for this we will have a display of flex because uh, we want these elements one next to the other. And then we'll style the tab headings. So I'll tap tab headings container, tab heading. And uh, for this uh, we will give a border of one pixel solid CACACA. -A -A. And we'll give a padding of eight pixels top and bottom and 24 pixels left and right. And I will change the font size to 18 pixels and uh, we'll also set a margin of 0 for top and bottom and for left and right we'll have a margin of 8 pixels. 
and uh, we'll also have a border radius of 10 pixels top left, 10 pixels top right, 0 for bottom right and bottom left and I will also set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this uh, we have this cursor icon. Now when we hover over these headings we want to change the background color. So we'll type tab headings container tab heading colon hover and uh, we'll set the background color to light gray so we can see the background color is changing. We can also have a smooth transition by just typing transition and I will type 300 milliseconds over here. So now we can see we have a smooth transition. Alright, now let's style the active class. So for that we need to have the active class applied to our HTML. So let's go to the HTML and uh, for the first heading, we'll also give a class called active. So now the first heading is active. So let's go to style.css and uh, here we'll type tab headings container tab heading dot active and we'll set the background color to 353535 and the color of the text to light gray and we'll set the font weight of this uh, active heading to bold and for the others we'll set it to normal I think we need to decrease the font size a little bit so let's change this to 16 pixels now let's style the h2 inside the panels container. So we'll type panels container h2 and we'll set the color to b92646. Alright, now let's target the anchor tags. So we'll type panels container a and uh, we'll give a background color of b92646 and we'll set a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom, 48 pixels left and right and uh, we will set the color of the text to white we will also remove the underline we will set the border radius to 8 pixels and uh, font weight to bold now we need to have a margin between uh, this paragraph and this button so now if you type margin top of uh, 10 pixels we can see that the margin is not being applied that's because anchor tags are inline elements. So we'll change it to inline block. So now we can see the margin is being applied. Now let's style the hover of our button. So we'll type panels container a colon hover. And I will just change the background color to 83132B. And we'll also add a transition over here. So that we'll have a smooth animation. So here you can see the background color changes when we hover over it. Now the last thing we need to style is the panel. So we will uh, type panels container panel. Now our panels should not be one below the other. It should all be at the top over here. So for that we will just set the position of the panels to absolute so that all the panels will have the same position. So we'll just go ahead and target the container division and we'll set the position to relative. And now we'll set the position of the panel to absolute. So now this panel will be positioned relative to the panel's container division. So here we can see all the panels are in the same position. But we don't want to see all the panels at once. So let's go ahead and go to our HTML and for one of the panels we will have the active class. So for this panel right here, we will have the active class and uh, we will set the opacity of all the panels to zero and then we'll go ahead and uh, style the active panel and we'll set the opacity to one. Now we can see that only one of the panels is being displayed. Now if you go to the original design, we can see that when we click on another tab heading, it just has this animation where it slides in from the right. So initially we will move the panel to the right and uh, then when it's active we will just move it to the original position. So here we will type transform translate x and we'll set it to 100 pixels to the right. Now when the panel is active we will set the transform translate x to 0. So we'll type transform translate x 0 
Now let's add some more styles to the panel. So we'll set a padding of 20 pixels. We'll set the line height to 1.8 and we'll also add a box shadow of 0, 4 pixels, 8 pixels RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.5. Now let's add a border radius to the bottom left and the bottom right. So I'll type border radius to 0, 0 for top left and top right and uh, 10 pixels and 10 pixels for bottom left and bottom right. We'll also add a border bottom to the headings container. So let's go over here and uh, in the tab headings container we will just type border bottom of 1 pixel solid DEE. Now we have a little bit of gap between the tab heading and uh, this border. So let's just remove the border bottom of the tab heading. So here we'll type border bottom to 0. Now our design looks fine. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video I'll show you how to add JavaScript to make it work. So if you have any doubts in this video you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.